Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be talking about biotin. The numerical number allotted to biotin is seven. So B seven or biotin. So to talk about chemical structure of biotin, it is made up of three parts. One is imidazole ring. Other one is thiophene ring. So thiophene ring. This is the second B complex vitamin where it has got sulfur in the structure. So the first vitamin B complex vitamin which has got sulfur in the structure that is. thymine next to thymine biotin is the second b complex vitamin which has got sulfur in the structure and valeric acid so these are the three parts which are making b7 so sources it is widely distributed in the foods like liver kidney vegetables egg yolk okay are the important sources it is also synthesized by intestinal bacteria so this is a interesting future of biotin our intestinal bacteria or our gut bacteria next to vitamin k okay so b7 also be produced by git bacteria so regular daily allowance how much amount of vitamin b7 you are supposed to take that is 20 to 30 micrograms per day 20 to 30 micrograms per day so absorption is simple being water soluble vitamin functions biotin is coenzyme for carboxylation reaction so far we have seen pyridoxine as a decarboxylation plp involved in decarboxylation reactions but b7 is involved in carboxylation that means addition of co2 okay to the compounds okay four enzymes in the body requires biotin that is acyl coa carbo acetyl coa carboxylase propionyl coa carboxylase pyruvate carboxylase and beta methacrotonyl coa carboxylase so all these are like gluconeogenesis enzymes okay you can say acetyl coa car pyruvate carboxylase conversion of pyruvate to oxaloacetate that means addition of carbon from carbon dioxide to form oxaloacetate and this involved in gluconeogenesis propionyl coa carboxylase this is also involved in gluconeogenesis acetyl coa carboxylase in fatty acid synthesis and beta methylcrotonyl coa carboxylase in branch chain amino acid metabolism okay so like these are the four carboxylation reactions mainly in our body which require biotin so you see here acetyl coa to methyl coa there you require acetyl coa carboxylase in case of fatty acid synthesis propionyl coa to methyl methyl coa this is also in case of gluconeogenesis pyruvate to oxaloacetate this reaction is also gluconeogenesis coming to biotin deficiency when you don't have adequate amounts of biotin in your body okay so you will be getting biotin deficiency so biotin is otherwise known as anti egg white injury factor why because there is substance in a raw egg called avidin which prevent if you are consuming more than two raw eggs regularly so it inhibits the absorption of biotin okay from the intestine so you will be prone for vitamin b7 or biotin deficiency so it is better to consume boiled or cooked egg okay so heating destroys the uh, factor that is avidin so it destroys the avidin avidin activity will be destroyed so there is no a uh, problem in absorption of biotin so it is useful to us to have boiled egg rather than a raw one so however experimental animals it induced biotin deficiency symptoms are dermatitis alopecia that means uh, hair loss okay depression muscular pain and anemia so avidin as i was talking about it's a substance which prevents the absorption of biotin from the intestine so that's all about biotin thanks for the listening thank you